Hi and thanks for clicking. In this lesson, we will go over on the basic concept of friction. Let's get started with the definition of the frictional force. It is a tangential force generated between two contacting surfaces that slide relative to one another and it resists the movement. Usually, the direction of a frictional force opposite the direction of the tendency of motion. We have three main types of friction. A dry friction occurs between unlubricated surfaces. The fluid friction occurs between the moving layers in a fluid. The last one, internal friction, occurs in all solid materials. In some application, we want to maximize the frictional forces such as in brakes, clutches, belts, drives, and weights. In other applications, we want to minimize the frictional forces, such as in bearings, power screws, gears, and the flow of fluids and pipes. This part is the most important part in this lesson. To study the relationship between the applied force T, for example, and the frictional force F, let's consider the system shown in figure, figure 1A. The mass block with, ma with mass M under the action of force with value of P. The free body diagram of this system shown in figure D. The applied force direct to the right and the weight mass times the gravitational acceleration downward and the reaction N upward and the frictional force opposite the uh, tendency of motion. R represent the resultant of the frictional force and the reaction and alpha is the angle measured between the resultant and the reaction. If we plot the frictional force against as the applied force, we will get this diagram. This very important diagram. If we understand this diagram then we understand the friction. This diagram divided into three parts. The static friction no motion part, kinetic friction motion part, and impending motion part which located between them. First one, as you see, we have a relationship between the frictional force and the applied force. And here we can apply the equations of equilibrium. At this point, the frictional force reaches its maximum value and it's calculated from uh, it's calculated from this formula mu s times n. Mu s is the coefficient of static friction and n is the reaction. When we have motion, the value of frictional force is called F sub k or kinetic frictional force calculated from this formula mu k times n. Mu k is the coefficient of kinetic friction. Here is the comparison between the static and kinetic friction. Under the static, the contacting bodies or surfaces are at rest or in bending motion. Under the kinetic friction, the contacting bodies or surfaces are in motion. The maximum value of a friction force calculated from this formula mentioned before also for the in motion or kinetic the frictional force calculated from this formula. Alpha, the angle between the resultant and the normal called phi sub s represented to the static friction equal tan inverse mu s. On the other side, alpha called phi sub k represent the kinetic friction equal tan inverse mu k. Usually, but not always, mu s greater than mu k. Here is the types of friction problems. If the statement of a problem tells us about the condition, for example, if it is static, that means we can apply the equations of equilibrium to find the value of frictional force. 
if the condition uh, is impending motion in addition to validity of applying the equations of equilibrium we also can apply this formula to find the value of frictional force when motion occurs that means the only equation valid is this equation to calculate the value of frictional force but if the condition is unknown in this case we have to assume the condition is static then apply the equations of equilibrium to find f then compare this value with the value of f max to check the validity of our assumption we will have the three outcomes first two if the value of frictional force obtained from the uh, equations of equilibrium less or equal the f max that means our assumption is correct otherwise our assumption is not correct and motion occur that means in actual frictional force value is f sub k here is example to show how to apply our steps to find a correct solution determine the magnitude and direction of the frictional force acting on the 100 kilogram block shown in figure 3 when p equal 500 and when p equal 100 for both cases uh, mu s and the mu k equal 0.2 and 0.17 respectively in other words we have inclined uh, surface with uh, 20 degree under the action of force p uh, for first part equal this value and for the second part equal this value we will uh, relate these as two separated problems first we don't know the condition so we have to assume that the block is in static then draw the free body diagram of this system and we put solid and dashed uh, line for F because we don't know exact direction of the frictional forces according to our assumption we can apply the equations of equilibrium summation Fx equals 0 get equation 1 summation of y equals 0 get equation 2 for part a when p equal 500 newton from equation 1 the value of a frictional force is this value from equation 2 the normal has this value to check our validity to check whether this is the answer or not we have to calculate the maximum value of f and we found out this value greater than the f max that means our assumption is correct and this is the answer for part a for part b we do the same procedure that we did in part a apply equation 1 and 2 find f and n again find f max check our uh, validity of our assumption we found out that the F obtained from equation of equilibrium less greater than or greater than F max. This impossible. This cannot be happen. So this assumption, this mean assumption is not correct, and the actual value of a friction uh, should be calculated from the this formula F sub k equal mu k times n and we found this value and directed up the thing.